it's very rare that I leave a film after watching it and uh, you know sitting there for a few hours and I walk out feeling like I myself have lost my own sanity. I've lost my own mind. But that's exactly what I felt like when I walked out of uh, the theater after finishing The Lighthouse, uh, the latest film directed by Robert Eggers, uh, who you may know from 2015's The Witch. Um, this this film made me feel a lot of things, and uh, feeling crazy was definitely one of them. Now, that's not to say that I didn't enjoy this movie, because I really did. As, as a matter of fact, I think I loved it. Uh, and, and we'll get into why I feel that way. Uh, but first, let's just talk about this film. Uh, it follows uh, Ephraim Winslow, played by Robert Pattinson, um, who's sent to work as a wicker uh, with uh, a gentleman named Thomas Wake, uh, played by Willem Dafoe. And the two men are supposed to be working at this at this lighthouse for about four weeks just to just keep the lighthouse running and the film just kind of follows those four weeks and how the men interact with the with each other and everything that transpires from the time that Robert Pattinson gets there until the concluding credits that's really all I can say about the story uh, without giving too much away because honestly I feel like if you're going to watch this movie you should really go into this without knowing too much of anything. I think that that's the most rewarding way to watch this film. Uh, by knowing as little um, of the plot as possible or as little of what happens as possible. I've seen a few reviews out there. They're just like just throwing everything at the readers, um, saying certain things that happen in, in the film. And while they might not be uh, giving any details as to why these things happen, I, I just don't think that, you know, they should be saying anything at all. Go into this movie without knowing anything. <laughs> so I'm going to keep my review very vague on the actual details. Um, Except for that first little part there. Uh, honestly, I feel like The Lighthouse is mostly about uh, mental stability and madness. Uh, and, there's, and, and when you see the film, you'll definitely understand why. Because as a viewer, you're not particularly sure of what is real, what isn't, what's imagined, what's dreamed. Um, you know, you're... you're as a matter of fact, by the time the movie's over, you're not actually sure if any of it actually happened or what all of it actually meant. And usually, when a person says something like that about a film, it's it's a dud. It's a failure. Like, this movie meant nothing. This movie was pointless. Why did I go see this film at all? That's not how I felt about The Lighthouse. I feel like The Lighthouse is... I feel like the filmmaker here was trying to uh, lead the viewer astray and just take them on a trip, uh, take them on a mental trip uh, along with, with the characters. And I feel like that was done very effectively here. And I feel like he got the best actors that he possibly could to do that because Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson are just incredible in this film. They the 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 movie mostly just focuses on these two men and their interactions with each other and even their more quieter moments are just they're they're just so powerful it, it they they really do just delve deep into these characters they make these characters feel real uh by by the end of the movie you feel like you know them a little bit it's 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 really hard to explain but they pull off a sort of magic here, especially Willem Dafoe, uh, who is so memorable and so entertaining in this movie. I, I personally feel like this may be the best work that Willem Dafoe has actually done um, uh, throughout his lucrative career. And I'm not just throwing that out, out there. He really is phenomenal in this movie. And Robert Pattinson is really good, too. Uh, it's just that Willem Dafoe is just so over the top and extra and loud and giant uh, that Robert Pattinson unfortunately um, just gets overshadowed just a little bit 
by his performance. But both men do a great job here. Um, everything that they are given to work with, they take it, they eat it up, and they just they 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 bring it to life in a way that you may not be expecting especially with some of the things that happen in this film that you would think would take you out of it they just find a way to keep you invested which of course has to do with robert eggers and his directorial style here but i feel like he definitely got the best men for the for the job now i don't want to give all the credit to the acting even though the acting is a huge part of what makes this movie work i do feel like that the way that it's filmed is a big part of it too. I mean the sound design, the color, we know that the film is in black and white for 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 the majority, well the the film is in black and white. The fact that they decided to go with very little dialogue or not as much dialogue as you would expect. Um this film actually decides to show you uh more than tell you. Uh, you're 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 looking at things and you're having visions and everything with these men and when they do speak the dialogue is very sharp it's witty um, it's powerful uh, but when they don't speak uh, is when the movie really does come alive because you're just looking at everything and everything is just everything feels so 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 real and it all adds to the overall feel of the film and it just makes it incredibly watchable so I have to give props there even though the acting was incredibly well done I feel like the directing and the choices that were made here with the cinematography the sound design what they decided to focus on uh, with the camera the close-ups of certain people's faces uh, the color everything here just amplifies everything everything just works perfectly together it's like you put all these ingredients into a uh, shake mixer and you created the perfect shake that's what this movie is it's a perfect shake now uh, as far as the story goes it's really good but because the because of its narrative structure uh, it's a little hard to kind of pinpoint exactly what that is, which again is not a flaw, at least in my opinion. I just find that to be an interesting way for them to go about creating this film. It's definitely not a movie for everyone. Uh, some people may go into this film and find it boring. Uh, they may leave this movie feeling more confused and hate that. Uh, me, I loved walking out of that movie and feeling confused uh, and not really knowing exactly what to think or what to believe or, you know, I, I, I had to sit down and think about this film and just kind of go over everything that I had just watched to kind of come to my own con conclusion about what actually happened in, in this movie or what it was trying to say, which I will not reveal here. If you want me to make a spoiler review, I can do that, but for now... Uh, that's all I'm giving you. Um, but, I mean, it's it's hard for me to recommend the film to everyone. I feel like if you are a fan of psychological thrillers, uh, if you're a fan of a movie not really spoon-feeding you everything, <laughs> you just want a movie to be more straightforward um, and, you know, not kind of uh, leave it to the viewer to find out exactly what's going on or what happened. Uh, then this isn't going to be the film for you. But if you're like me, you like seeing a movie like this and dissecting it and just trying to think for yourself of what the movie means and have conversations for years about what the possibilities are, then this is definitely your kind of movie and you should definitely go check it out. Um, I love this film. I love the powerhouse performances. I love the direction, the cinematography, the sound design, everything was perfect. I do think it was a perfect film. Willem Dafoe was definitely going to win an Academy Award for this. If he does not, he should at least get nominated for his performance here. It was great, along with Robert Pattinson. Uh, and I think that the film would definitely go up for Best Picture um, or something of that sort because the movie is just too good to ignore, in my opinion. Um, and if you are in the slightest interested in this film, 
you should go check it out. Go see it in the theater the way it was intended to be seen because you really want to hear those sounds booming. You really want to see this beautiful movie on the big screen. I promise you, you will not be disappointed unless you do not like weirdly structured films. Um, but I loved it. Go see it. Let me know what you thought of this review in the comment section below. Are you excited for The Lighthouse? Are you going to go see it this, this weekend? Or did my review kind of ward you off a little bit? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that like button and do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will know when I post again. Uh, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay dope.